Welcome once again to a segment of the Garden Path. It's midsummer now, and one of the signs of midsummer is the sound of the cicada. It's a sound I love. You seldom see them, but this week we have found one in the garden, and here it is. What? At this time of year, I haven't many flowers blooming, with the exception maybe of some lilies. Uh, so I really depend on foliage plants to bring color and life to the garden. Rhododendrons aren't usually thought of as foliage plants, but there are two that I have that are grown particularly for their foliage. One of them is this one called Golfer, and it's prized because of the white powdery surfaces of the new leaves, which is called Tomentum. The other one is over here, and this one is a species called Mackinoy, it has long linear leaves that are quite different from other rhododendrons. One of my new color additions this year is an astilbe, and astilbe usually have green leaves, and this one is quite unusual, and I just found it this year, and it's called color flash. So it, as the leaves start, they're, they're bright green, and they turn to red and then maroon as they age, and it has some flowers, but not the brilliant flowers you usually expect with astilbe. Beside this stilby, right here, are some small heuchera that I've had a lot of trouble with. These plants are three years old, and I think they've been problematic because they haven't been getting enough light. Also, the slugs have just decimated them. So I recently moved them and hope they'll do better here. Uh, they're wonderful colors of peach, and this one is called Fire Chief. They become quite red, and there's, there's a dark one called Obsidian. So they're really interesting, but those particular heuchera I have had some difficulty with. There are some, however, which thrive, and I'll show you those. This is another little heuchera called Silver Scroll, and it's done very well for me in semi-shade. It seems tough and reliable, and I like it a lot, and it actually has some quite nice flowers that you can pick and use in bouquets. The name of the taller plant behind the Silver Scroll heuchera is Semisifuga, and its clonal name is black negligee. It's the only black negligee I've ever had. <laughs> the common name for this plant is bugbane if you're looking for it with the common name. Citronella is by far the strongest heuchera I own and it's in bloom right now, but that limey color really lights up the ground and I really appreciate it. It's like that all summer long and well into the fall. Behind citronella is Haconocloa, gold, which is golden forest grass, Japanese forest grass, and I like the two yellow greens together. And here is a very small hosta that I'd hoped would be a little stronger growing, than I, so I'd have a clump of three. You usually put three plants together to make a, an arrangement. Um, numbers like four and six, the even numbers, don't work quite as well. So this number three has got a ways to go. I put uh, Brunera Jack Frost in one of the very darkest parts of the garden because these silvery leaves almost iridesce and they really do add a, a wonderful contrast to the dark ground and the darker leaves around them. I really appreciate the textural quality of ferns and this little one is called Heart's Tongue Fern and it looks exotic but it really is very tough and it comes through the winter very well. So this little fern is Felix Femina. Ethereum Felix Femina or the tatted fern. It's small but it's got a really nice texture, uh, a little bit like tatting. We'll round off my fern collection uh, by showing you my Japanese painted ferns, Ethereum Pictum, and this little one which is Ethereum Silver Falls. And it's smaller growing and is just a different height which I like with this group. Uh, and over here is Another Ethereum Pictum, but this is called a crested painted fern because of the difference in the tips. These things don't make a lot of difference when you're buying them. It's just I like variety of any kind. But Lloyd's already shown you his Lamium in bloom, and this is a little bit that I have, and it's really lovely and silvery. It's uh, called Dead Nettle, the common name, and this is um, Pulmonaria, and they come with a variety of spots, and some of the leaves are absolutely pure silver, which makes them really a uh, bright spot. Pastas come in a lot of variety of colors from gold to blue to deep green and they also come in quite a variety of sizes. This is by far the smallest that I know of and it's called Thumbnail. It's growing in my trough garden which is where it seems quite happy. My next smallest hosta we talked about before, this is called Mouse Ears and I really love it. 
Uh, it has quite nice purple flowers, which are just finished. Uh, and to my left is my favorite hosta called June. And it has a variegated leaf and a very pretty flower. And it's actually an award winner. I have a couple of others you, you might like to look at as well. Goodbye this week from Black Negligee, Montreal and me, and I hope we'll see you again next time.